Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be doing various speed tests when we have our phone connected to our laptop. So right now this laptop here is using the internet connection from my mobile cell phone. So it's using the cellular network and I want to know if it's quicker when you're using it via a USB tethered connection or a Bluetooth connection or a Wi-Fi hotspot connection. So I'm going to be trying all three different connections and then I'm going to be recording the speed test results and then we will find out which one is the quickest connection. So I'm going to do three speed tests on each connection. So I'm going to start with a USB tethered connection and I'll run three different speed tests and we'll see what the result is. And then I'm going to do the Wi-Fi hotspot. So that's when it's using Wi-Fi to connect to the mobile phone. And again, I'm going to be using three different tests. Now, when it comes to the Bluetooth, unfortunately, I can't do it on the laptop, so I'm going to have to use the iPod. Now, I know it's not going to be a true test, but really, not many people would be using the Bluetooth connection anyway. They're going to be using it, either a USB tethered connection or a Wi-Fi connection. The only good thing about the Bluetooth is it takes up less battery. But hopefully, we will still get a speed test on the iPod to compare. To make it fair for the test, I'm going to be having the phone in the same spot on each of the tests. So I'm going to have the phone there. Right, so right now it's connected up to a tethered USB connection, so I've got the cable going from there straight into the phone. So let's now do our first test and see what happens. Now I'm going to fast forward through these tests because they're going to be quite boring for you to watch. So the first test is 18.82 download and 2.24 meg upload. So let's test that again. Next one was 19.35 download and 2.32 upload. Let's test it one last time. Okay, and the last one was 17.16 download and 2 meg upload. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the Wi-Fi hotspot and uh, then at the very end of the video, I'll take the averages of all of them to see what the averages are. So I'm going to set up the Wi-Fi hotspot now. Right, okay, so we've got the Wi-Fi set up now, and we're going to do the same test again. Okay, on that one it was quite a bit slower. It was 12.4 down and only 0.92 up, so not even one meg up. Right, let's test again. Okay, that was slightly better, 13.62 down and 1.48 up. Let's test again. Right, and the last one was 14.88 uh, down and 0.96 up. So now we're going to do a test on Bluetooth, but this time I have to do it via the Apple iPod because I can't get Bluetooth working on this Windows 10 laptop unfortunately. Right, so this iPod now is now connected to the internet. As you see there is no Wi-Fi. I've just got the Bluetooth connected. So let's set this up here similar to before.
Right, I'm going to go to the speed test app. So it's the same speed test app, but we we'll go to speed test. Right, I'm going to hold it down here. To begin test. Right, so I'm going to test again. Right, so there are all the results. That's a USB tether. The Wi-Fi hotspot's here, which is worse. And then the Bluetooth's down the bottom. So what I've done is I've averaged those ones out. And uh, so the USB tether was 18.44 average down and upload was 2.19. The Wi-Fi hotspot was 13.63 down and upload 1.12. Bluetooth average was only 1.39 down and 1.35 upload so as you can see there the USB tether is the best followed by the Wi-Fi hotspot not too far behind but still not great and then the Bluetooth was absolutely awful now to make it fair because the Bluetooth was on the iPod so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now connect up the iPod to the Wi-Fi hotspot just to see if it's also low speeds because if it's good speeds we know then that the Bluetooth is a lot worse than the Wi-Fi hotspot. If the Wi-Fi hotspot is also low on the iPod, we know it's something to do with the iPod. So I'm just going to connect up the Wi-Fi hotspot. So let's now do a test, a speed test on the Wi-Fi hotspot. Right, so I've just turned off the Bluetooth tethering on the phone over there as well, so we're purely on the Wi-Fi hotspot. There we go, instantly right the way up. But the iPod's actually working better than the laptop as far as the Wi-Fi is concerned. So it looks like there's definitely an issue using Bluetooth. Unless I've got a Bluetooth issue with the iPod. Or my mobile, my mobile could have an issue with the, with the Bluetooth. Or maybe Bluetooth is just a lot slower. There we go, so look at that. 17.89 and 2.22, so I'm just gonna scribble that down. Right, so look in there, the Wi-Fi hotspot average on the laptop was 13.63 and on the iPod was 17.89. So as you can see, although the Bluetooth was done on the iPod, I've also now done the iPod on the Wi-Fi and so it's not an issue with the iPod itself unless there is an issue with the Bluetooth on the iPod. But I don't, I don't think there is, it seems to connect to other devices okay. So it looks like going by this, that USB tethers the best, followed by the hotspot, and then the Bluetooth is way, way, way behind. But what I'm gonna do now is, the problem is, you see, that phone there might not be in the best position. So I'm gonna plug in a longer USB lead. I'm gonna plug in a three meter USB lead, and I'm also going to try moving my phone nearer to a window. So the good thing about when you use the Wi-Fi, which is this one here, I can move the phone nearly anywhere in the house. I mean, the further you are away from the phone, the worse the connection is gonna be. But if you find that there's a very good reception on your phone, on, for example, by the front window of the house, then you can leave your mobile phone there and then connect up the Wi-Fi in a different room. And you won't be able to do that with the USB tether. So right now, I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot. So I'm gonna move the phone. Let me just connect it up to the laptop down here. Connect. So I'm just going to do a test again, and this time I'm going to move the phone to the windowsill over here. Right, so I'm on the 
the Wi-Fi network and I've moved the phone over to the windowsill. So I'm going to do a test now just to see if we can beat the average that we got before on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's definitely a lot higher. Right, okay, so as you can see there, the download is 17.73 and the upload is 2.07. And that is on Wi-Fi. So if we can compare that when the phone was next to the laptop, the average was 13.63. Even when we did all the tests, we never got more than 15. So look, 12.4, 13.62 and 14.88. Yet, now when it's on the windowsill we get 17.73 and 2.07 and there might even be a better connection somewhere else in the house if I was to put this in an upstairs bedroom then you might well find that the Wi-Fi signal to here although it's going to be slower because it's further if the connection upstairs might be for example 50 or you know 40 or 50 meg then even the Wi-Fi would still between upstairs and downstairs would still probably be more than 17 so that's it there i'm just going to try it elsewhere in the house now right i've put it nearer the front of the house now so i'm just going to do a test again just to see if we can beat that speed right so at the front of the house we got 14.49 download we did get a higher upload though 3.97 so it does show you by moving it around the place you will get different speeds so so you might find that there's a particular room in your house or an area that you get a better signal in which case then you could put it there and then use the Wi-Fi to another part of the house so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try a longer USB cable so this cable here is a three meter cable and we're going to see if that affects it because maybe the cable itself will put more resistance on it so it will be a slower speed but the good point is we can then move it to a better location but we're still limited so this is a three meter remember with usb you can't go more than five meter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off the wi-fi hotspot and now i'm going to plug in the usb lead tap here to tether it give that a while and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the phone closer to a window right so let's begin the test now and see if the three meter lead has a worse effect on it even though the mobile is probably in a better position right okay so as you can see, even with a three meter tether, the download is 18.8, .8, which is uh, a little bit better than the average up here. And the upload was 316, which again is a little bit better than the USB tether average. So it looks like installing the longer lead doesn't really affect it because the first lead we used was less than a meter. And the last lead here was a three meter lead and it hasn't actually affected it. It's the results here are a little bit better than the average so it means then that if you were to for example put a three meter lead it gives you a bit of flexibility about where you can have your mobile phone so going by these tests here today definitely by far the best one is using a usb tether so just plug in the usb cable straight from your laptop or your pc into the mobile phone and then the next one is the wi-fi hotspot which is, you know, very usable speeds, but that surprised me. The Bluetooth is absolutely awful because remember, when we did the iPod on Wi-Fi, the speeds were actually better than the laptop. So it looks like the iPod has a better connection than this laptop. But yet when it came to Bluetooth, it was absolutely awful. So uh, remember, the, the, the most, this is the easiest one to set up, but this one is the most useful because with USB tether, you can only connect the one device because you're physically plugging your phone into that device. But with the hotspot, you can connect up numerous devices so you can have your smart TVs and your Xboxes and stuff connected. So if you want more information about how to connect these up, please watch my other video on how to actually use the USB tethers and the Wi-Fi hotspots. This video was purely to check the speeds out. And as you can see there, on my test, the uh, USB cable actually gives you the best speed. 
Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.